Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to help you determine whether your PC has active or passive cooling on its CPU. Now, what I have here is a Gateway 2000 PC. It's uh, several years old, but it's got a um, it's got good representative hardware that'll allow you to, you know, once I show you how to how to determine whether or not it's active or passive, you'll be able to tell that for all PCs. So, if you look in here. It's got this green cowling right here. This is a fan. Um, active cooling means that you have a fan that is cooling the CPU. And this one here has got this fan that it'll pull out and you can see it's got a fan right there. And what that does is it draws air over the CPU block here, these fins, and uh, blows it out into the, uh, you know, your surrounding area outside your, your, your uh, CPU. Now, if you look at this block right here, this happens to be the CPU block. Uh, it's a, it's a, a cooling fins or a cooling a, a heat sink that goes on the CPU and it's got fins. Now, if this was an active cooling, or excuse me, a passive, passively cooled CPU, you would just see this. There would be no, uh, no fans blowing air over it. It would just radiate heat off of these fins. Um, but this, like I pointed out, this system has got a separate fan that goes in here and draws air over the fins and, and out of the case. Now, there are oftentimes you'll have an actively cooled CPU that has the fans right on it. Like I've got a graphics card in this machine that happens to have, its graphics GPU happens to have a fan right on it that uh, draws uh, heat away. So this is an actively cooled uh, GPU, or this is the card CPU, it's a, you know, kind of the equivalent of a CPU. So this is actively cooled, and right now if this machine was just like this, this would be a passively cooled machine. So my name is Matthew Pierce, and today I showed you how to determine whether or not your CPU has active or passive cooling. Thanks for watching.